All right. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Today, I am going to be starting the process to make reverse spherification, which is a uh, type of molecular gastronomy used in mixology. And this is all a special that we're going to be moving forward with and, and posting on <clears throat> Vegas Bartender. All right. Excuse my voice. I just woke up. But we're going to be using three main ingredients in order to complete this process and, and cook the, uh, the raviolis or the uh, reverse sphere, spherification. Um, the first thing that we have to do is use this sodium alginate uh, to make the, the sodium alginate bath. This is essentially what the mix or the juice, whatever drink that we would like to turn into spheres or what I like to call raviolis uh, will be cooking in so to speak okay so what we need to do here is we've got a liter of water and it's low calcium water so you want to use filtered or bottled water we're using a crystal geyser all natural spring water maybe that might not even be the best Maybe I want to use Aquafina. We'll try it with this. I'm going to make a sodium alginate bath. So I've measured out um, a thousand milliliters or one liter. And we're going to need to mix five grams of sodium alginate. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the scale. And it's at zero grams. Take our spoon and sorry for the uh, the shaky camera, but I didn't have one set up. Okay, so that's 1.2 grams. So I guess about three spoonfuls. Four, four spoonfuls might do the trick. That's 2.3 grams. Three point four. Maybe I should have used a bigger spoon. But I'm up there. Four point two. Get a half. Four point four. These measurements have to be precise. So. Oh. 5.1, gotta take a little bit out. There we go. Alright, so 4.9. Actually, in one article, I read it was 4.8. Uh, good mixology friend of mine uh, told me 5 grams, so we'll just go ahead and meet in the middle there and do a 4.9. I know I just said that it has to be precise, but I got two sources of information, so. What I'm going to do is take the uh, sodium alginate powder and go ahead and blend it. Now, the article that I read said this may take a while, so Ooh, that's not good, see? Residue from old water being washed in the uh, dishwasher, anything that has any sort of calcium whatsoever needs to be washed out. And, and clean because if there's calcium in the water it can affect the way that your spheres come out and you don't want that to happen especially if you're going to be taking all the time to to do this so I'll go ahead and make sure it's done right up now like they said in the article it might take quite a while for it to completely dissolve once it completely dissolves though um, they said that you know you have to let the air bubbles get out of the water so you, you're gonna want to set it in a refrigerator for about 24 hours 
to let the air dissipate out of the, uh, the mix or the bath. And at that point, your sodium alginate bath will be ready to move forward and its life its lifespan is, is indefinite. I mean, you have a lot of time to use that bath. What the heck? It's been a while since I used my blender, guys, so forgive me. Um, so, no calcium deposits or anything like that. I am in Las Vegas, so the water out here is kind of hard. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're using bottled water to make this mix, so we should be fine. And I cleaned out the blender pretty good before I started. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the blender. And... I'm going to let it go for like three to five minutes. So after it's complete, I'll show you what the bath looks like. After that, we're going to go ahead and make a mix. And I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, a gin drink with juniper berries, lemon juice, um, sugar, maybe a few other things. And I'll show you how I make that mix. What we have to do when we're making that mix is add some calcium lactate gluconate or gluco and to make it a thicker substance we'll use xanthan gum and basically these three ingredients um, are what we're going to need to complete the reverse purification process um, after making the mix we'll want to use something like this to strain out any uh, you know, sediment from whatever we're using. You might muddle blueberries or different fruits. Um, so you always want to strain your mix before you go ahead and make your spheres. And um, we'll show you how that's done in the next segment. But basically, this segment was to explain how we make the sodium alginate bath. And we got that spinning right now. So I'll get back to you guys when that's finished. And hopefully we can make some beautiful raviolis. Happy Valentine's Day.